What are the top 10 biggest LEGO Minecraft sets of all time? Let's update this list, let's get into it. So at spot number 10 we have the LEGO Minecraft 21187 The Red Barn. This set comes with 799 pieces, so we haven't broken the 1000 piece mark yet, but we still got quite a large set. As the name suggests, this is just a giant red barn. It's got quite a few cool little minifigures, such as a chicken jockey, as well as a baby cow, an adult cow, and also we have a goat, alongside a skin and a villager. So that is quite a nice little minifigure selection, and well, we also have a horse in it, so the minifigure selection is pretty good. The set itself is quite a nice little one, it's not on my past or anything, it's a player built structure. It looks really nice, and in my opinion, it's a pretty solid set. Now, in spot number 9, we have the Creeper Mine. This set comes with 834 pieces. So we've broken the 800 piece mark here, and the Creeper Mine is quite an old one, to be honest. This set, as the name suggests yet again, is a Creeper Mine kind of thing. So basically, players have built a Creeper next to a giant cave. It comes with six minifigures, being the blacksmith, Steve, a cow, a bat, a husk, and a creeper. The husk is exclusive to this set, and even with the 2024 sets, it is still the only one of its kind to exist. And, well, the mine itself is really cool. You have different play features and stuff like that, such as a gold dispenser. So that's pretty good. And now, in our spot number 8, is the modern treehouse. Now, the modern treehouse has 909 pieces and 4 minifigures. And these minifigures are okay, I guess. We have two skins alongside some chickens. And a cat, a zombie, and a creeper, a charge creeper. Which before that was pretty rare. But now is just something. So yeah, the modern tree house did make the charge creeper a bit less rare. But still, it's a really nice little set. I feel like it's a bit chunky and looks a bit odd. But still, it's a good set. And in spot number 7 we have The Mine. This is one of the first ever LEGO Minecraft sets to come out and has 922 pieces. It comes with a Steve, a Creeper, a Skeleton and a Zombie as well as a Spider. That's a pretty good minifigure selection and considering it's one of the first LEGO Minecraft sets, that's also pretty epic. There are a lot of play features in the set and it looks really good from outside as well and fits really well into a LEGO Minecraft world. So it's a great set. And then, in our spot, number 6 spot, we have the Fortress. Now, the Fortress has 984 pieces, and, as the name suggests, is a Fortress. One of the coolest parts about this set is that it can be in three different configurations, as well as the original one. It comes with a Steve, a Horse, a Sheep, and three Skeletons, all containing different stuff, like an Iron Helmet, and just different things like that. This set has some really cool printed banners and a lot of different stuff that you haven't seen in other LEGO Minecraft sets. So this is a great set to buy. You should definitely go and pick it up, even though it is retired, so it's a bit more difficult. And in our spot number 5 spot, we have the Ocean Monument. This set has 1,122 pieces, which is a very respectable amount. The set itself has some really good minifigures, coming with an Elder Guardian, a Guardian, a Squid, an Alex with enchanted armor and a Steve and you know what this minifigure selection used to be amazing It was the only one to have guardians in until the guardian battle came along But still it's a really good minifigure selection for its time the build itself is an ocean monument It can be a little bit bland because of the piece color being all the same But you know what we can pass that because it's a great set and in spot number four, we have one that is new for 2024, the crafting table at 1,195 pieces. This doesn't have any specific minifigures, but it does have a lot of different micro figures as it's a micro world inside of this 18 plus Lego Minecraft crafting table set. The set itself is really cool. It's not as much about play features, more about displayability. You could put it on a shelf and it will look amazing. And in our number three spot, we have the Llama Village. Now, the Llama Village comes with 1,252 pieces, and that's a pretty respectable piece count yet again. This has a Llama, a Sheep, a Pillager, or Vindicator, as well as two skins, a Pillager Captain, and two Villagers. So, quite a lot of different minifigures in this set, 
and the set itself is a giant llama with a little house in the middle. Alongside that you have a few little village builds dotted around which look pretty good. Personally, not my favourite on this list. And then in the number 2 spot we have the village. This has 1600 pieces and is just a really good set. It comes with lots of minifigures, including an iron golem, Alex, Steve, two pigs, two villagers, two zombies, a creeper and an enderman. So a lot of different minifigures in this set, a total of nine, which is pretty good for a set of the scale. You come with a little village with four village houses. I think that's pretty good. And then in our number one spot, I think you all saw this coming. It's the mountain cave with 2,863 pieces. This set has so many minifigures, I don't even know if I want to list them. I'll list a couple. Obviously, we have the normal Alex and Steve. We also have a slime, cave spider, enderman, wolves, and so many other things like charge creepers and stuff like that. So it's just an epic set with loads of minifigures, pieces, and an amazing build. You should definitely try and pick this one up if you find it. It's a pretty difficult one to find nowadays. So those were the top 10 biggest LEGO Minecraft sets of all time. I really hope you enjoyed this video. You can subscribe up there. There is another video down there. Really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.